I'm here today with Elizabeth Peters from the Forensic Science Services in the Fiji Police. Elizabeth has really been key in setting up a new facility that is now processing crime scene analysis both within the country as well as other islands within the region. So with all of the changes that have happened within your laboratory as of late, how has that really impacted the results that you're generating? Um, well, since we've um, migrated a lot of our work towards new technology as supplied by Thermo Fisher, um, we've really noticed a tremendous impact. Um, I would have to say um, this started from DNA extraction through quant, through PCR, right down to CE. So it's actually all the downstream uh, processes. And uh, we've seen a much better recovery rate with uh, um, using the Profile Express um, with minimal use of samples. So you've actually, we do have more samples set aside for counter analysis. Um, and with our quantitation process, oh, using Quantifile Trio has made such a big difference. With the uh, use, I know that other labs have actually been using this system for a while, but with us having just newly used them, it has made such a big difference, especially even with sexual assault cases. That's actually the main, that's one of the largest uh, crimes that, that uh, we have to deal with. We even also got the new 3500. So with greater sensitivity, now an eight capillary, we used to have a four capillary system. Um, a turnaround time is, is a lot better, I could say. And how much better? We are able to process samples within a day in terms of downstream analysis. Before, we would actually take about a week or more, but now, within a day with downstream. The only process that actually does take a long time for us is pre-DNA extraction, which is evidence recovery, and the interpretation. So that must make your, your investigators very happy to get that DNA back, result back so quickly. Well, we, we, we're always super excited when we see a match. Um, and we're also excited as well when there is a mismatch, um, when investigators are so adamant that it's, um, a match it's supposed to be and you know they call us and say it has to be a match and we say no <laughs> it says otherwise but um, yeah it, it, it uh, has provided uh, a lot of encouragement for the team a very small team so Elizabeth with the capacity that you have now in the laboratory where would you like to see the Fiji police go in the future we spend a lot of time as well while we're working in the lab we're also spending a lot of time in creating awareness, you know, pushing the DNA capacity that we have, what are we able to do. We're also trying to increase their knowledge and their understanding in, in terms of what DNA is, what's the um, limitation, um, how best can we use DNA evidence. Um, so really, yes, greater awareness to all of the future police force and that's what we already are doing. But I hope that we actually plan to have a specific uh, DNA evidence a program in the police academy, a DNA database as well. We are pushing also for empowering legislation, uh, enabling legislation that will help us uh, with, uh, with everything to do with DNA evidence. From collection at the crime scenes and right up to interpretations and even, you know, database. We're also hoping to be accredited, but we do our best to comply with the SWAGDOM guidelines. Um, we keep up with the, our quality controls. Um, so there's a lot of witnessing uh, done as well in the lab just to make sure that uh, um, obviously like there's no cross con contamination or any corruption going on in the lab. I guess really the maximization of the use of uh, rape kits, we call them sexual assault evidence kits. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that we've uh, slowly rolled out and uh, the plan is to have that widely, widely accepted within the future police force and the whole country as a whole. So my last question to you would be, what has Thermo Fisher Scientific actually done that has really helped you gain confidence in the results that you're generating? 
The different thing about Thermo Fisher is um, when they are with you from the start, they're with you all the way. It's the partnership that they actually foster with the industry. And, uh, and that's uh, very encouraging for us. They have field specialists who are um, av available and reachable. Um, and and um, so when we're stuck uh, with some sample or obviously with uh, some technical uh, technological glitch, they're there. Um, the servicing is easy for us. We have an engineer coming in from New Zealand every now and again who does that. So they've been really good. And, and that's what we really want. And because we've got everything um, from the get-go, you know, from de from extraction right up to uh, CE, um, and it's just easy having to just deal with the one company, <laughs> you know, instead of having to contact five different mm -hmm. companies, and 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 it works for us, and, and they've been good that way, fostering that partnership, and and also like now with what they they're doing now, you know, it's more collaboration, um, and just making sure that. Everybody is in par with what's going on with the rest of the world. We have made a very good decision with um, working with Thermo Fisher and, and, and really relying on um, what they have to offer. Elizabeth, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with me today. It's a very exciting time to be in DNA analysis these days. And to learn more, please visit us at thermofisher.com slash HID.